gonna be on. Is it too dark? This is so. We say the same thing. Right here. Yeah, this is good right here. Oh yeah, this is better. Uh -huh. You know the routine. We always have to wait, wait for the viewers, wait for the oh, viewers. Okay. Ask them to share it. Oh, I'm start off, start off by asking you all to share this video. Share it, share it, share it, share it, share it, share it. I'm in Atlanta right now, and uh, I want you guys to share this video because it's very important. And what happened to Jamarion is um, unbelievable. Shot 76 times, 76 times by U.S. Marshals. Can y'all see that? That's his hand right there. So y'all share this video. This is Jamarion's mom. I'm gonna let her introduce herself, and um, you know she's gonna tell you guys a little something about what's going on. Um, I, I don't really want to go too far into the case because I don't really know what we can disclose. However, I'm gonna let her introduce herself. And let you guys know what, they, what the U.S. Marshal did to her 26-year-old son, who was a college student, um, didn't have any kind of record, nothing, 76 times. Hi, everyone. Uh, thank you for watching and thank you for sharing my story. My name is Monteria Robinson. My son's name was Jamarian Robinson. Uh, Jamarian was killed, or should I say executed, on August the 5th. 2016. Uh, he was inside of his girlfriend's apartment when U.S. Marshals uh, basically burst the door open and opened fire on him. He was shot a total of 76 times. A lot of people can't believe that 76 bullets entered his body. Jamarian only stood at 5'6", 150 pounds. They shot him in his right hand six times, the palm of his hand. And they also shot him five times in the palm of his left hand. They shot him down his arms, his torso, his chest, his legs, his thighs, his groin, his shins, his feet. And they shot Jamarian for a total of 3.5 minutes. 3.5 minutes, that's how long it lasts. If you go to www.justiceforjam.com, you can actually watch the video. Someone actually caught the outside footage of the video. And if you watch the video, the video speaks for itself. Once they burst that door open, they start using the lingo that they typically use when they approach us. Put the gun down, put the gun down, pow, 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 pause. Put the gun down, put the gun down, pow, 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 pow. And doing all this pausing, they did that like three times. And then in the very end, you hear pop, pop, pop. Someone stood over Jamarian and shot down into his body, as well as they threw two flashbang grenades that landed on his body. Again, Jamarian was 26 years old. He was in his last semester. He was a student athlete at Tuskegee University. Um, and I just keep, you know, expecting him to, you know, show up, you know come home and say, Mama, I'm here, you know, and I wouldn't say, where have you been the last couple of weeks? He was like, I'm mm, just hanging out with some friends, but no, my baby's not coming back home again, you know, and the way he died was so horrific, very inhumane, you know, very un-American. Uh, you know, we U.S. citizens, and we have these police officers that go around terrorizing our community, but... Here, we're here, you know, we're here now to say, and we want you all to come out and join us and be present with us because we are about to shut Atlanta down over the next several weeks until we get some answers uh, for Jamarian Robinson. Jamarian, uh, name will not be in vain as long as I'm breathing, and we are here to fight this until, you know, no, there's no more breath in my body. So, you know, here we come, U.S. Marshal, so get ready. Right. And like I said, I asked everybody to share the video. Um, we're really trying to help get Jamarion's story out there because he deserves it. His family deserves justice. I mean, you heard his mom. You heard what she just said 76 times. He was shot six times in one hand, in the palm of one hand, five times in the palm of the other, all down the front of his body, his torso, his groin area, his legs, everything. It was not an area on his body that didn't have a bullet hole in it. Um, and as she said in the video, that someone took, let's go over here a little bit. Okay. In the video that someone took, you could hear them 
uh, saying, put the gun down, drop the gun, drop the weapon. They continued to shoot him, but there's no way he was holding the weapon. There's no way because of all the bullets that were in his body. So like I said, you guys, you know, share the video. We're going to help her get this out there. You know, she's doing a great job. This effort right here actually started last year. However, um, you know, it didn't take off like it needed to because of a lot of false information that was given in the beginning of his, of his murder. But even if, I, I just can't imagine somebody being shot 76 times, 76 times. So, like I said, you know. And also, I want to add one last thing to that. After they shot him 76 times, they handcuffed him and they dragged him down the body, a flight of stairs, I'm sorry, and they just dropped his body in his, live, his girlfriend's living room apartment, you know, where he lay there over eight hours. They never called any medical aid or nothing uh, to assist them. And, and they're not the judge, jury, and the executioners. So with that being said, you know, we've had enough. Our community had has had enough and it's time that we stand up and fight back. That's where we are right now today. We're, we're ready to stand up and fight back. Exactly. And um, like Chance said, he just heard of it uh, two weeks ago. I heard about it when it happened last year, but like I said, with all the information that was given, the false information that was given, um, we didn't know the total story. We didn't know the full details. However, um, now the truth has come out. You know, and so, like I said, he was shot 76 times by U.S. Marshals. That's his hand right there. This right here is on the flyer, on one of the flyers that his mom has. But um, she has pictures of his full body and everything. I mean, and it's really, it's really terrible. Um, she said Atlanta cops shot and killed her cousin. And he was a former football Clemson football player. Re reach out to us on Jamaria Robinson page or my page, Monteria Robinson, because we are trying to bring the mothers together so we can start our own coalition here in Atlanta. So please reach out to me on Facebook, uh, Monteria Robinson, that's M O N T E R I A uh, Robinson, or even Jamaria Robinson page. You can instant message me on either one because I check both. That's what's up to you guys. Share it. Like I said, share the video. Share it. Let's help get it out there. You know, Freedom Fighters, upstate South Carolina. We're in Atlanta right now, you know, because we came, because we saw the story, and we want to assist this family in any way that we can. So, that's, I mean, they've done a, a, an awesome job so far. Um, she's got a lot of things taken care of herself. So our thing is to push it out there to help ensure that they get justice, to help get the message out there, to keep his name alive and to keep their, their, their vision alive. Uh, she's very vigilant in this movement, and, and I truly appreciate her for sitting down with me at this real nice restaurant. Mm -hmm. Yes. The restaurant's so nice, I was just like, wow. You know, we met at a really nice restaurant here in Atlanta, and um, I appreciate her. And like she said, you reach out to her, she will respond. Um, but, you know, don't reach out to her no crazy stuff. Reach out to her if you really want to help. You know, we got to be sincere in this because, you know, it's time for the community. It's time for us to take a stand. 76 times, you all, 76 times this young man was shot. I, could, I couldn't make this stuff up. 76 times. You see his hand right here. I'm going to continue to share everything on my page. Um, when I share it, you share it. When she shares it, you share it. We're going to keep it out there on social media, through the news um, media and everything. It's about to get some national news attention as well. She's going to have a big press conference soon. Freedom Fighters is going to join her. We're inviting everybody else to join her as well. They're going to shut the streets down in Atlanta. We're going to come for that. You guys be ready because this movement is about to take off full speed ahead. I'm here to support her and her family. And I truly appreciate everybody for supporting me, Freedom Fighters, Upstate South Carolina. Thank so you. We, we appreciate them. Love you all. Send them my love your way. All right, share the video.